Hey guys, I got a lot of requests and questions on how to connect your analog mixer to your computer. So uh, the basic setup should look like this. And what I'm currently using is this one cable, which is an RCA type of cable through a 3.5 millimeter jack, which goes directly into the line end of my computer. So then what you want to look for are the main outputs of your analog mixer which are these for me um, okay uh, if you don't have adapters this wouldn't fit in there because these are uh, quarter inch sockets and you need adapters for them uh, quarter inch jack to RCA these are fairly cheap at any electronics store just plug them in left and right channel and match them with the color of the cable so red for right and white for left okay and then make sure all uh, the volumes are all the way down even your gains and set everything to zero before you start mixing Okay, even the effects, auxiliary, and then a uh, suggestion here um, always plug your microphone in channel 1 so you always know what channel your microphone is, and channel 2 for any instruments that you have connected. So, channel 2 is currently connected to my Yamaha PSR E433. Okay, um all the volumes are down and we can start testing after you've set up everything on your mixer and connected everything correctly to your computer let's go into the audio options right click that little sound icon there click on recording devices and make sure your line in is set as your default device let's configure it now double click on it and then go to levels and I suggest you put your line in level to about 80 so to avoid any distortion disable any sound effects I suggest you do that to make sure everything works check this little box listen to this device and then play back through this device your speakers and then apply hit apply and then start playing something on the keyboard or any device you have connected to and gradually increase the volume on your mixer As you can see, it's working. And from this point on, you can start uh, adjusting the highs, mids, and lows on the channel the instrument has been connected to. Uh, actually, you don't need to set the gain because it's already loud. And you can add some pretty awesome effects to it, especially if you're going to mix everything on a digital audio workstation so that's it um, after that make sure you uh, uncheck listen to this device so it won't play through the speakers while you you're playing unless you are going to monitor the sound coming from the audio devices thanks for watching guys I hope this tutorial uh, helped you out uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that like button for me, will ya? Thank you.